guys welcome back to my channel this is manta queen if this is your first time here you are absolutely welcome happy holidays and to my returning subscribers you guys already know i love you <laughs> so as you can see from the title today's video is quite interesting so this video was inspired by chantelle i'm gonna put her youtube um channel name up on the screen she recently did a video about this so i want to just throw this out there it's a video just sharing my tips on how our brothers and sisters back home yes my tips are specific to our brothers and sisters back home in africa on ways that you can be productive and um, generate more money for yourself this festive season it does not matter if you have a job or not guys i had a full-time job i worked nine to five and i mean i was comfortable I didn't pay rent. I was living with my parents and I was making good money, but I always had a side hustle. I used to go to Senegal, buy clothes, churai, name it, shoes, name it and sell it. That was my side hustle. I have always had a side hustle until today in the U.S. with my full time job. Baby girl is doing well for herself, thank God, but I still have a side hustle. It's really important. So if you want to learn some tips and tricks on how you can make, um, money this holiday season and just any time of the year really then you definitely want to keep on watching so before we get started i need my second pair of eyes let me clean my glasses so we could get ready i have all the points on my phone okay let's get it started <laughs> so the first point that i have is buying and selling beverages okay this is going to be in two parts first you can buy and sell drinks like soft drinks minerals whatever you call it coke fanta sprite malt name it water especially because this time of the year if you guys watch my previous video where i was talking about um how you have so many events and weddings and festivities just parties all the time you know that the main thing you're going to have besides food is what beverages so yes go buy you some wholesale look for somebody that can supply your home wholesale even if it's someone that can give it to you and you sell and give them back whatever you can if you have the money buy it up front and go sell it to um people that are having events or just individuals that like to host people you know like some of my dad's friends some of my mom's friends they like to host like bigger parties and they would need a lot of these so that's one way that you can actually make um, cool cash for yourself because people need more of these this time of the year where you have so many events as opposed to any other time of the year so that's a good tip sell beverages another part of this um, point is make your own beverages yes zobo wonjo we call it wonjo in gambia oh my god it is very refreshing all natural just make sure you don't put too much sugar for those that don't like you know a lot of sugar because we're trying to stay healthy diabetes is real make your zobo make your it's it's the period for dita people that are coming from um, the diaspora for holiday they have not had some of these things in a while make your dita juice make your zobo which is wonja make your baobab juice which is bui make all these drinks natural drinks people love these bottle them package it nicely yeah make sure you package it really nice some of these things are readily available now make your packaging nice and stand out and i'm telling you you're gonna make so much money trust me we used to sell all of these things my mom used to run a shop in our house and we used to sell all of these things so trust me when i tell you that's a good point point number two which might not be so familiar is that we have a lot of people that are so busy that cannot just they don't just have the time to go to um the markets the supermarkets and do shopping for themselves like grocery shopping offer your services especially if you if you're not working um um, you don't have like a permanent job, offer your services. Go get a list from them and you can get your friends to hook you up with their mom's friends, somebody. Go do grocery shopping for them. You know, they give you a list, they give you transport money, you go do the shopping and bring it back to their houses. That's, I mean, you got to think out of the box. You have to be, oh my God, you have to be enterprising to make it. Even with a full-time job, nine to, nine to five is not the way. It is. 
It is part of the way, but it's not the way to get you out there. So be enterprising. Run errands for people. Do the grocery shopping for them. Run delivery services. If you have a car or you have a car at your disposal, even if it's not yours, put gas in the car. Run errands for people. Get paid. Make money. That's a good tip. And for my ladies, and now we've been the gents, if you are handy, you are the go-to person. If you are good with hair and nails, you are done. You don't need anything else. Run you a nice little spa. You don't even need to have a whole nice shop, okay? I know it's very expensive to set all that up, but at least run it from your home. You can run it from your home. Get you a nice, decent, you know, tub that you can use and get your manicure set, your pedicure set, and just do it for people. And you, of course, you're going to charge less because you're not paying. You don't have a store you know, where you have all of that. So you're going to give it, um, offer your services at a discounted rate and you're going to get so many people because like I said, this time of the year, even if somebody was not, you know, all up into it the past few months, this is the time that they're going to be up in their game because, you know, we've been through a hard time and everybody just want to be glam and good and just look good and feel good. So yeah, if you are good with manicure, pedicure, go for it. That is trending. You are going to make loads of money, offer it at a discounted price, and you would not regret it. And that also goes with those that know how to do hair. If you can braid, if you, especially now, if you know how to lay your frontal girl, everybody wants the edges laid, okay? <laughs> we know a lot of people around this time are traveling back home. They might not even know anyone to help them with these things. You can help them you know, style their wig. Now you can even do it where you style the wig on the mannequin head and then the the person just comes back and just, just put it on the head and it looks like you actually did it on the head. That way you're saving yourself time, you're saving the other person time because the, by the time you were curling that wig and styling it on the mannequin head, they are physically somewhere else doing something else or probably even making money. So that's a good tip. Hair and nails, the bomb. Another one is that during this time of the year, a lot of people are renting spaces like duplexes or just like self containers, we call it, where they have their own personal space that they spend um, like their holiday season for like a month or so and then go back to wherever they're coming from. A lot of them are looking for trustworthy, hardworking, reliable people to help them keep their spaces clean, offer your services. You can go do their laundry for them. A lot of them even have, um, Washing machines, you just throw the clothes in the washing machine. Of course, there's abundance of sun. You don't need no dryer, air dryer, you know. Clean up the spaces, get paid. That's a good way of making cool cash. I actually know one of my cousins that does this, and she's able to support herself without asking anyone for help. So, yeah, offer your services. Think outside of the box. Be enterprising. We keep moving. Okay, if you're somebody that likes parties and you are all into the entertainment industry, this is your time to shine. A lot of people are hosting events. They're looking for the happening DJ in town. Hey, if you know the happening DJs in town, got their contact, get everything together, get your notebook going, have all the details of all the happening DJs with the best jams in town. People might need it. You're going to be their plug. You're going to be their entertainment plug. Why not? And also, when it comes to DJs, you also would need um, chair rentals. Yes, a lot of people rent chairs by the dozens. You could be the hooker person. You could go um, talk to the person renting out these stuff and maybe get a discount from them. And then you go rent it out to other people. You're going to be like a middleman or better still just be the liaison where you're going to be the one sending them over to that person. And then the person gives you a cut. Anyhow, you want to do it, the entertainment industry is booming, especially this time of the year because people are not pre playing. It's concerts, it's parties, it's church events, it's weddings, it's engagement ceremonies. Oh my God, name it. So yeah, make the best of it. Another point where you got to think outside of the box is offering gift wrapping services. I know some of y'all might be like, hmm, we don't really do gifts. Some people do gifts. I got gifts as a child throughout Christmas. Yes, I did. And I believe, I mean, times have changed a lot. Some wives just want to, you know, surprise their, 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 um, their spouses. Husbands want to surprise their wives. You want to surprise your mom, your dad, and you just want to wrap it up. Offer gift wrapping services. Yes. Get you nice, um, 
wrapping paper or bags and be creative. Learn how to make a bow out of nothing instead of going to buy a bow. No, buy your ribbon, make your own bow, stand out. Yes, gift wrapping is totally outside of the box. And I'm telling you these days, the way I see people out there, they are not playing. Offer those kind of services that no one else is even thinking about. And believe you, me, you will stand out. Now, when we talk about food, we know that's the heart of the party to me. The food is the heart of the party and then the music and all of that. Let me tell you, if you know how to cook or if you are a caterer, widen your horizon this time of the year. I'm telling you right now, widen your horizon. Yes, guys, sorry for the interruption. I was in the middle of um, recording and my camera just stopped. I didn't realize that my battery was dead, so I had to get some charge and come finish this video because nothing is stopping us okay we get moving so yes like i was saying if you were a caterer up your game because i still remember how much my mom used to spend on catering like and this is only for like small chops like snacks banana bread carrot cakes or just you know plain vanilla cakes meat stuff like that and i can only imagine how much it costs right now so I know I love baking. If I was back home right now, I would have been baking and selling. Even right now, hey, look, <laughs> if you're in my city and you know me and you want some banana bread, you want some pound cake, I'm not doing meat pie because it, it's a lot of work. But hey, I'm your plug for cakes. Banana bread, hit me up. I'm right here. I would make it happen. So yes, if you can cook, make it happen catering is always good money anytime any day especially this time of the year so yes go into food services and you would not regret it you will make yourself some cool cash this holiday season so last but not least be the fashion and beauty plug yes guys what do i mean by that you know this time of the year everybody wants to look glam I noticed that stuff like cocktail dresses and formal wear, you know, evening gowns all the way down, glam, they sell a lot. People like them. I still remember to this day, I used to go from any fashion store that I heard, any fashion shop, any new one that they say is trending, Sarah Kunda, Big Crime, Electric Kunda, I'm there. I'm looking for my glam, gorgeous dress because they usually don't bring stuff in like bulk. So... You can find like a dress that only comes in like a small, a medium, and a large. So you would never go somewhere and see like a bunch of people wearing the same thing. It's always so unique. So why not? You don't even need a store. A lot of them that I used to buy from, they had people out here in the U.S., in Europe, anywhere outside of Gambia that were sending them these dresses, these shoes, you know, heeled shoes sandals you know because it's not all about the glam also go into the the comfy because people want to be comfortable because day after christmas boxing day they like to go to the beach you know have some um casual wear some nice sneakers if you have somebody in the u.s somebody in europe that can send you these stuff ahead of time do it yeah dhl if you send stuff today you would get it within a week in gambia i believe in africa for the most part or even faster because they, they they deliver really fast and they take care of customs for you all you have to do is just go pick it up if they cannot deliver it so yeah sell those things be the go-to fashion person know the happening um stores in town to hook people up or better still be the one selling it yeah so guys I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really had fun making it. It brought a lot of memories. I still remember I always wanted to be so glam. I would save up my money for the holidays. Wanted to get the best dresses, the nicest shoes that I could afford, of course. So yeah, be enterprising. Think outside of the box. Like I said, all these points are good ways of making money throughout the year. But especially this holiday time. Because... Almost everybody is looking for stuff like this, especially if you live in the in Gambia, in the combos, in the Greater Banjo area, you know, all these concerts, Wally, Yusu, Vivian, you know, all the concerts are going on, they're coming up, weddings, name it. People are looking for these services, okay? So be, um, have this entrepreneurial mind, 
Be ready to make money. Be ready to think outside of the box. Think smart. Work smart, not hard, okay? If there's any tip that you're going to take from this video today, it's working smart versus working hard. you got to think about timeliness because in business, timeliness is everything. Know the time to jump into certain things, the best time to not go into certain things. And at this point, I will leave you guys. I hope you guys have happy holidays. I had fun making this video. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out. Okay, I will see you all in my next video. Happy holidays.